Phil Spector, a monumentally influential music producer whose wall of sound style revolutionized the way rock music was recorded in the early 1960s, died Saturday at the age of 81. Spector's life was tumultuous and ultimately tragic, as groundbreaking as his studio accomplishments were, those achievements were all but overshadowed by his 2009 conviction for the murder of actress Lana Clarkson. Spector's death was confirmed by the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, California health care facility inmate Philip Spector was pronounced deceased of natural causes at 6.35 p.m. on Saturday, January 16, 2021, at an outside hospital. His official cause of death will be determined by the medical examiner in the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office. Spector adopted what he famously referred to as a Wagnerian approach to rock and roll, calling the hit records he assembled in the 60s for artists like the Renettes, the Crystals, Darlene Love and the Righteous Brothers, Little Symphonies for the Kids. His productions were dense and orchestral, accumulating layer upon layer of guitars, horns, keyboards, strings and percussion, often with multiple instruments playing the same note in unison. The songs he selected were dizzyingly romantic, typically written by the greatest of the Brill-building songwriters, and his classic recordings relied on the brilliant contributions of a set of musicians dubbed the Wrecking Crew. Drummer Hal Blaine's four-beat intro to the Renettes, Be My Baby, is one of the most distinctive kickoffs to a song in rock and roll history. Spector's classic recordings spurred his contemporaries to become more ambitious in the studio. He's timeless, Brian Wilson said of Spector in 1966. He makes a milestone whenever he goes into the studio and this has helped the Beach Boys evolve. A decade later, Bruce Springsteen would seek to recapture the grandeur of Spectre's productions on Born to Run. Phil's records felt like near chaos, violence covered in sugar and candy, little three-minute orgasms, followed by oblivion, Springsteen said in 2012. And Phil's greatest lesson was sound. Sound is its own language. A genius irredeemably conflicted, he was the ultimate example of the art always being better than the artist, having made some of the greatest records in history based on the salvation of love while remaining incapable of giving or receiving love his whole life, Stevie Van Zandt wrote on Twitter. Harvey Philip Spector was born in the Bronx on December 26, 1939. His father died by suicide when Spector was nine years old. Spector moved to Los Angeles with his mother in 1953, and within a few years, he was playing in jazz groups. Spector formed the Teddy Bears in 1958 with high school friends Marshall Lieb and Annette Kleinberg. Spector took the title of his first production, To Know Him As To Love Him, from the inscription on his father's gravestone.